Hey, Young Skirt here, and before I get into my regular stream, I wanted to talk about something that's coming out pretty soon, in a few months, couple months. It's Reason 13. We're on Reason 12 right now. They did some, like, quality of life, like, graphical updates when Reason 12 came out. And with Reason 13, it looks like they're expanding upon that, but also giving us some new stuff to play with. So let's go over uh, what they are bringing forth for Reason 13. From January 1st, 2024 onwards, every purchase or upgrade of Reason 12 includes a free upgrade to Reason 13, available on June 18th. If you got uh, Reason 12, you're gonna get a free upgrade. Your sound faster, okay? New browser. Now, I hope this browser is also still available in the sidebar. I kind of really do like the browser being in the sidebar. But it looks like it's just gonna be a lot more detailed, a lot more easier to search things up, and just a lot more detailed ways to find new instruments. Category and tag buttons, which leads us into the tags. Now they have decided to tag and categorize all their sounds, which will be a good way to get y'all to give me random instruments from now on, from whenever that comes out, um, by using these tags and be like, give me a tag. That's pretty cool. Um, and you can tag anything else in, in your own way. So I might be doing some tagging myself. That's some good uh, organizational stuff. I love some organization. Next we have a sequencer upgrade. Now this is interesting. If we open this up, we can take a deeper look at what's going on here. You can, instead of everything being in this middle bar now, it's gonna be over here. You can quantize it to a certain percentage. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it just looks like all the stuff that used to be over on the top is now gonna be next to the MIDI on the left, which that's, that's pretty cool. It's not the craziest upgrade ever but it'll, uh, you know, it'll give a little bit more, um, a little bit more optimization, I guess. Um, I'll probably have to get used to it, but it seems pretty cool. If they want to do this, I'm sure they know what they're doing. Next, this is a graphical upgrade that I'm really excited about because they're making the audio look like Ableton, kind of. Like, like with the warp grid and stuff, like, like you can create different like, stuff and move it around and quantize and stretch. There's different stretch types now. That's pretty cool, um, but yeah. So anyone who's anyone who's used to Ableton's style of audio audio manipulation, it looks like Reason's gonna give us that uh, that style now. So that's that's pretty cool. I like that. Next, new sounds. See, this is my bag. Updated the sound bank library with new patches, samples, rex loops, demo songs, and song starter templates. All I want to see is patches. That's all I need to see right there. They're gonna add more presets. And oh, I've been using presets for over 12 years. So I need some new ones. Just just enhance me, Reason. Enhance me. Um, then we have a new synthesizer. A synth lover's synth inspired by our favorite vintage hardware. We designed it to recreate the warm analog sounds you know and love, but it wouldn't be us if we didn't tweak the formula for more possibilities. Even better, Polytone has two layers that can be stacked or morphed between for super fat or evolving sounds. Polytone is more than just a replica of the past. It's a loving tribute. Look at this. It's got a couple oscillators. It's got some FM filter and LFO knobs. You can do different waveforms, saw and pulse, I guess. Pitch knob, fine tuning, um, mod LFO, mod envelope, filter envelope, amp envelope, filter right here. Interesting way to look at the filter. Like I like this uh, visual uh, here where it shows you 24, 12, 12, 24. I still haven't been able to, um, you know, I don't know the difference between the 12 and the 24 low pass filter or high pass. So that's a cool way to look at it. We got the frequency knob here for the filter. That's really just a big wheel, of course. We got amp gain, we got filter envelope, all that stuff. We got a global LFO, we got a chorus, we got a reverb. We got voices. It's pretty standard. This is a pretty standard Reason synthesizer with a new look with A and B. So I'm guessing A has two oscillators and B will have two oscillators. And then you can mix and morph them or just do single. And uh, you can do it with the fader between them here. 1224 is the roll off, okay. Uh, and then we got wheel, we got velocity. So you can so you can set up the morphing to the wheels here. You can set it to the velocity, like so that the harder you press it becomes B more or vice versa maybe. Yeah, B to A. Age, there's an age knob on here. That's pretty interesting. Um, but yeah, that's that's super cool. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of use out of that when that comes out I'm sure we're gonna rip it and make some cool beats 
music. Um, then we got a Ripley Space Delay. Combines delay and reverb with unique flavors of filtering, noise, and distortion. Coupled with extensive modulation, you can create the delay you want. Anything from clean taps or warm analog sounds to crazy lo-fi chirps or washed out ambiences. Everything that adds character and depth to your music. Look at this delay. This, this delay, delay looks so good. So first it looks like we have a left and right timing so you can do two different times. There's left and there's right knobs, I guess, here. Multiply, feedback, and there's a freeze button. That's a good icon for a freeze button. I knew that was a freeze right by looking at it. Offset left and right, a wobbler, ping pong, feedback filter. Mmm, feedback filter. Band, low, high filter. And then I'm guessing this is uh, like a eight band EQ that you're controlling. Shift the frequencies, a limiter. It's got a couple LFOs on the bottom and you can control them with this matrix. And then here we go, we have noise, we have distortion, we have digital, output, EQ, and look at this. High frequency, germ, gold, aerial, LF. So high and low, I'm guessing these are filters. Oh no, these are noise, different noise types. Then we have an EQ, then we have a ducker. So this, and, and, it, and also I didn't even mention the space section, which I'm sure this will show you space. I feel like they're taking a lot of cues from like Ableton and other DAWs and kind of implementing them in their own way, like the visualizer here of the space delay. Delay, incredible. Uh, then we got then we got three new reason tools: the sidechain tool, the gain tool, and the stereo tool. And that that's pretty much everything. Let's take a look at the tools. So we have a sidechainer, which I was using compress a compressor to sidechain it. We have auto pump, trigger, and sidechain at a rate. Attack, hold, release, and then like a little visualizer that you can change the visuals of and how much it ducks. Put it in band mode or send mode. Then we have the gain tool, which seems to just add gain to stuff with more width, panning, inversions. And then we have the stereo tool, which is just widening it lower or higher with the low bypass and the frequency adjusts. So shouts out to Reason, you know, adding a lot of new stuff and giving new tools to use so that we can uh, do cooler stuff as we go.